my face. What's really hood? It's your boy, Dope Figs. Shout outs to all my hunters and true believers in the wild. May the force be with you. And you know the force is almighty God above. Yo, I'm doing this review today because yesterday I attempted to watch the three hour The Batman. You know I had to wait till it hit HBO Max. Tried to make it to the movie theater a couple times and I was uh, not able to do that. So, here's my thoughts. I was born in 1984. I grew up with all the Batmans from Adam West to Michael Keaton to George Clooney to Val Kilmer to Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, Batflack is my favorite iteration of Batman. They took certain liberties with Frank Miller's The Dark Knight and attributed that to the movie. And I thought that was awesome. I, you know, a big brooding older Batman. Uh, the outfit was dope. You know what I'm saying? As far as this Batman goes, this is my second favorite Batman. Every time they pick a new Batman, there's always some kind of negativity surrounding it. They can't pull it off. They're not going to do a good job. This guy killed it. Oh, I forgot. And uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman, the dude, uh, that what the hell is this guy's name? The guy that plays Batman and Christopher Nolan's. I'll say this about Christopher Nolan's Batman. I like the movies and the storyline. I didn't like Christian Bale as Batman. Now, with that being said, this guy killed it. There were some very ill, dope, standout moments. There were some lackluster moments. There was moments when I was like, yo, this is a phenomenal movie. Then there were moments where I was like, all right, this is dragging out a little bit. The guy that played Jim Gordon, this is the best Jim Gordon we've ever seen. Ever. He killed it. My man Colin Farrell that played Bullseye in the Daredevil movies. Killed it as Penguin. Valcone killed it. Uh, the girl that played Selena Kyle, Lenny Kravitz's daughter. She's fine as hell. She looked like Selena Kyle. And she was whooping a lot of ass. You know what I'm saying? It's off. Shorty was fine as hell. She was gorgeous in this movie. And like I said, she was whooping a lot of ass. I really like this movie. I'm looking forward to seeing more. I don't know whoever's hating on this movie. I, I understand, but I don't think it's that serious. Um, I do rather would see Ben Affleck, but, you know, it's make-believe. What You know what I'm saying? This is make-believe, people. You know what I mean? Yo, everybody out there, hope you're doing good. Check it out. It's on HBO Max. And, um, yo, gangster movie. I got to finish the rest of it today. One love. Peace. Cool off, everybody.